Oh my days, guys. Oh, habanero was a bad idea. Huh. Why did I take another sip? Whew. Oh, it's a slow burn, this one. Oh, hi, 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 hi. The producers here are just trying to kill me. Oh, I put 20 mils of hot sauce in that drink. Whew. Ho. Welcome to Absolute Drinks with Rico. I'm Rico, and first of all, I want to wish you guys a happy new year. Today is the 1st of January. The 1st of January is also National Bloody Mary Day. It's cold outside, guys. Extremely cold. So we're going to spice up the entire month. We're going to make four of the spiciest cocktails. We're taking three of your favorite vodka cocktails, and we're going to turn the spice up to 11. 11. So today, we're gonna to make the fiery vodkarita, the fiery mule, a super spicy twist on a vodka michelada, but we're gonna start with a very, very spicy Bloody Mary. But before we do any of that, you know we read all the comments and what you say, so we're gonna answer a few questions from you guys right now. Let's get into it. Okay, guys, we've got a few questions here. Okay, guys, so first question. What is so hot about chili peppers? The bassist, Flea. Which are the hottest chilies? Carolina Ghost Reaper. When was chili discovered? 1492. Isn't it, right? Yeah? So today, we're gonna to make the absolute spicy papa Bloody Mary. Let's get into this, guys. So not only have we got a new bottle for absolute papa, but we've actually got a new liquid. It's the first time we've ever updated our flavored liquids. So let's have a quick taste. You know, there's a lot of people in the comments that say you can't drink absolute papa neat. Nope, that's wrong. It's true, you can drink it neat. And, wow, that's... Pretty amazing. I was actually expecting to get a lot more spice from it, but the flavor's intense. It's like really heavy, fresh, cracked black pepper, which is gonna be perfect for this Bloody Mary. So let's just get straight into it. I know this tastes good. It's only gonna make better drinks. So we're gonna take our tin on tin shaker. We're gonna take the smaller side, because this is what we're gonna build our drinks. And don't forget, Never drink alone, always drink responsibly. So we're gonna be making two. So as I tell you the recipe, remember, I'm gonna be doubling up. We're gonna start with our tomato juice. Get the best quality tomato juice you can get, and you're already onto a winner. And we want 75 mils per drink. So we're gonna put a nice, like 150 in here. Mm -mm -mm. Beautiful. We wanna cut through everything, make sure it's not too thick. So you need to add a little bit of citrus to that. If you've got a citrus juicer like this at home, which is called a citrus elbow, perfect. Squeeze like half a lemon per drink. You're looking roughly to have about 20, 25 mil, and that can go straight in. So we're gonna have to spice this up a little bit. Obviously, we're gonna use absolute papa, but that's gonna give flavor over spice. And we really wanna turn this up to 11. So we're gonna use some very tasty Korean hot sauce. It's like chili and garlic hot sauce. It's fermented the best thing to come out of Korea. This type of hot sauce is a little bit on the spicy side, so we're gonna wanna put a good 20 mil per drinks in there. So I'm going with a 40 straight in. We're gonna wanna spice that up and season it. We're gonna take some salt, salt to your taste. We've got two drinks, don't forget. A little bit of the old Percy pepper. Again, do this to your taste. Some Worcester sauce. The seasoning, the spiciness, you want around about as much as you want. Bloody Mary's always about to taste. There's only one thing to add now, absolute pepper, and we want 45 mils. And then last but not least, just to add a little bit of herbaceousness, we're gonna add a little pinch of celery salt straight in there. That's pretty much our drinks done now, guys. All we gotta do now, give this a little roll. So first up, get these glasses all the way to the top. Then, we're gonna take the empty side, we're gonna fill that with ice. We're gonna to start to roll all these drinks together. But we wanna keep the ice in there. Oh, I'm making spills already, hashtag spill king. So the reason why I roll like this, I don't want too much dilution. I don't wanna aggravate the drink too much. I wanna keep it real nice and thick and viscous in the mouth. 
If I was to shake it, I could get there, but I could over shake it, over dilute. So all we're really doing is spilling it all over the place and chilling it down at the same time. We take our glasses, we go straight in. As you can see, we've got some Bloody Marys that are super spicy. But we need to like amp it up a little bit, make it look pretty. So what better than one of the hottest chilies on earth, the Scotch Bonnet. We're gonna give it a little slice and we're just gonna put that directly on there. And we're gonna get a little slice, put that directly on there. Now, while you're drinking this drink, if it's not spicy enough, just stick your Scotch Bonnet directly into your drink because all those juices from it are gonna come out and they're gonna blow your bloody head off. There it is, the super hot, fiery, super spicy, absolute papa bloody, that's what I'm gonna call it. Give it a real sip. Yeah, that's good, spicy. Tomato -y if you like it. Oh, that was a little bit too spicy then. I forgot what I'm saying and lose my mind, it's so hot. Next drink, go, go. So don't forget guys, click, like, subscribe, and let's get on to the next drink because my mouth is already burning. Let's go. Is the spicy vodka rita. Super citrusy, balanced off beautifully with the agave syrup. The spice is real, don't get me wrong, guys. The spice is real. But when you get the lime and the absolute papa mixing together, you get a real nice flavor. It's almost like Mexican style of flavor of food, especially with that habanero all mixed together. It's a great drink. It's one of the best we've made on the show. You know how we like to uh, take over tequila and put our vodka in those drinks? So that's exactly what we're gonna do. Let's get into it, guys. First thing we're gonna do, you know what margs are like. So we're gonna have to uh, give these a little rim. We're gonna take our lime juicer, get in. We're gonna put some lime juice right there. Take your glass, dip it in the lime, dip it in the salt, you've got a beautiful rim. What you'll see is you've got salt right on the inside of the glass. Maybe you don't want that in the drink straight away. So just take some lime, run it round, then you get your nice salt rim only on the outside, nothing on the inside. So next up, you know how we do these things here. Always start with your cheapest ingredient first, around 20 mils of lime juice per drink. So we're gonna squeeze out 40 mils. Ooh, that was a good lime. Straight in. Next up, we're gonna take some agave syrup. Tequila is made from agave. This is the syrup of the tequila plant, basically. It's 20% sweeter than sugar, so you don't need as much as you would if you was using like a simple syrup. It's more akin to a rich syrup. So we're gonna stick about 15 mil per drink. So we're gonna want 30 going in. Ooh, straight in, nice. But now to add the spice, you know what the whole idea of this show is. The producers just wanna see me sweat and cry. So we're gonna take a nice green habanero hot sauce and we're gonna add a whole 20 mil per drink. So we're gonna stick 40 mils right in. Mmm, can't wait for that, guys. Next up, the star, the brand new Absolute Papa. We're gonna put 45 mils per drink. So we're looking at 90 all in all. We're gonna ice up, take the large part, get some ice directly in there. Already looking good. Now we're gonna ice up our glasses. And let's get ready to shake. Always get that small end right on top of the big. Take a step back. Mm. So as you know, when you're shaking, it starts to get this condensation you know that your drink's cold enough. We're gonna go straight in with the spicy vodka reader. Seeing as we're keeping it green, we're keeping it classy, we're gonna go with a nice little couple of lime wheels. We're gonna slot them right on, like so, and like so. And there we have it. Oh, my garnish is falling. If you garnish for, just twist your glass like that. Fake it till you make it. And there we have it, guys. A very spicy, I know it doesn't look it, but this is gonna be intense. I'm a little bit nervous about the, yo, I can see bits of chili in the glass. 
God damn it. Bottoms up. It's so spicy. Why did I take a little sip? Fresh citrus and heat is what I can taste right now. Whew! Oh, it's a slow burn, this one. Habanero was a bad idea. Oh. Oh. The citrus really is balanced out with the agave. And thank God <laughs> that that sweetener is in there because it would be even hotter. Hi, yo, 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 yo. It's a really good fucking drink, but it's like eating a vindaloo. Oh, for fuck's sake. I'm having a real moment. One second, guys. I'm not gonna lie, guys. Too many Scovilles, but you can make it milder. I put 20 mils of hot sauce in that drink. The producers here are just trying to kill me. Dial it down to like five to 10 mils, depending on your hot sauce. Just don't go as spicy as me. Don't be an idiot. That's all you gotta do. Don't go full Rico, because you don't have to go as hot as me. Because no one's as hot as me. Oh, I would recommend eating with a drink as spicy as this. Maybe some, like a stick of butter, heavy cream, milk, anything that will coat your mouth. But also, it's gonna go great with your favorite tacos, burritos. It's a Mexican style drink. Eat some Mexican food with it. Oh my God. Still got two more drinks to do. I'm never gonna have any taste buds by the end of this. Let's do some TV magic and get to the next drink so I can get some whipped cream in my face. Okay, guys, we're gonna now make a very, very hot and spicy meal. Great fresh pepper, sweet, fiery ginger beer, all balanced out with that nice black pepper spice coming from Absolute Papa, another banger. If you can handle the heat, that is a pure porch pounder. Now you guys already know the mule recipe. You've seen me make mules with original, with our flavored vodkas. Now we're gonna mm, make this hot as hell with the spicy mule. As I've always told you, start with your cheapest ingredient first. This is peri-peri hot sauce, which is a Portuguese style of hot sauce. If you wanna know what peri-peri means, it means pepper, pepper. We're not gonna measure this out. I'm just gonna eyeball this straight into the cup. Okay, next up, we're gonna take the lime. We want about 15 mils of lime juice in here. So we're gonna squeeze the juice of half of lime into each. But next up, oh. the hero of the show. Absolute papa. We want to stick 45 mil per drink. Now, if you really wanted to elevate it to a new level of spicy, take a little habanero. Absolute papa is the greatest flavor of cracked black pepper. Drop one of these in, leave it overnight. You're going to have double spicy absolute papa, but I ain't going that much today because I've already burned half half of my taste buds. So in here, we've got the vodka, we've got the lime, we've got the hot sauce. All we gotta do now is add some ice straight into our glass. Or, as you notice, this isn't actually a glass. Mules are traditionally served in a copper mug. Next up, take your ginger beer and pour that straight in. Now there's three components to this drink which can be spicy. We've already told you the one by adding some extra spice to your vodka. We've already added hot sauce. That's also extra spicy. And the ginger beer. This is the spiciest we could find here. You can get mild ginger ale all the way up to fiery ginger beer. So within this drink, you've got many different opportunities to blow your bloody mouth off. And this is what we have. We've got the absolute hot and spicy mule. All we're gonna do is just throw in a couple of chilies and sit around and enjoy this hot and spicy drink. That is a winner. I'm not even upset about how much my mouth is being blown off. Whoa! That peri peri is a slow burner. That's a creeper. Whew. That cracked black pepper coming from the absolute pepper is insane. Whew. That peri peri is unbelievable. Super spicy. If you can handle the heat, that is a pure porch pounder. Mm. The spicy mule. Milk. Whew. Oh my days, guys. Ugh. So that's it for the spicy mule. I can't even talk anymore. Next drink. Let's get into it, guys. You know how much I like putting vodka into tequila drinks. And we're gonna do the same thing again. We're gonna show you how to make the absolute hot as sh 
Michelada. It's hot, it's spicy, it's sweet. It's got vodka in there, it's got beer in there. I don't know what else you want in life. That is the summer drink that you wanna drink. Let's get into it, guys. So let's start by prepping our glasses. You know how much I like a rim, salt rim. And we're gonna do a little bit of a twist on a rim. Let's take our citrus juicer, and then we're gonna get a little bit of juice on here. So we want a nice, big, sturdy glass, because it's gonna be a long drink, a bit of a porch pounder. We're gonna get it in our lime juice. And then we have a little mixture here, which is salt and Szechuan peppers. So we're gonna give that a nice little rim. Ho, ho, ho. And don't forget, Szechuan peppers will make your lips tingle. So just be careful how much you put on. I'm not gonna tell you how much to put on. Put on as much as you like. So let's start making our drinks. Usually a Michelada is a built drink. Uh, but I want to shake all our ingredients together, minus the beer. Don't ever shake beer. Don't ever shake anything carbonated. So, small tin, as per usual. And again, never drink alone. We're always making two drinks. We're going to start with a little pinch of salt. First of all, a good couple of turns, twists, pinch, whatever you want to call it, of salt, straight in there. Next up, we want to take our hot sauce. Because this is Mexican, I've gone for a chipotle style of hot sauce here, which means it's gonna be a hell of a lot more smoky. Just eye this up, and again, we're making two drinks. So I'm gonna put about 20 ml in there for both the drinks. Last thing to do before we add the vodka is I wanna add a little bit of lime. So we want quite a lot for this, roughly around about 40 ml per drink. Let's just backtrack. We've got two pinches of salt. We've got some chipotle hot, hot, We've got some chipotle hot... I can't say chipotle. Did I say chipotle? Chipotle. chipotle. Uh, whoa. It's a shit Was that okay? You okay with that? I just started talking. We've got some chipotle hot sauce in there. We've got our lime juice. There's only one thing to add now, and that is absolute pepper. New look, new taste. And we want 45 mils per drink. So we're going to stick 90 in. That's it. We're going to add the ice in there. No. And let's give this a little shake. Now we're only shaking to chill, so just give it a little shake. Nice. And then we can go straight into our glassware. Let's move this. No need to fine strain. We're just going to go straight in. Beautiful. Fill this with as much ice as possible. We're almost done, guys. Only one more thing to do. Add in your favorite cerveza. 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 I did not cerveza. Add in your favorite beer. If you want to know what type of beer to use, your favorite beer. But I would, I'd recommend a Mexican just because it's that nice light flavor of beer. And there we have it, guys. The absolute hot as sh. Michelada. Whoa! Oi, oi, oi. Wait, that is stir. Whoa! Whoa! Sometimes you know when you've won at life. This is one of those moments. I have like one tear shed and this is that good. Perfect. That's a perfect drink. That is the summer drink that you want to drink. I don't know what else you want in life. If you want more, you're greedy. You've got everything here. Mm. I feel like Eric right now. Ah, oh. winner. Absolute sweet, as hot as, oh my God, it's fiery. Michelada, peace. Oh, whew. Oh. We're almost at the end of this episode, but we've got one more drink left, guys. Oh, I needed that. But seriously, mm, thanks for watching today. You've literally just experienced me 
burning and blowing off my own mouth. But today you got to experience the brand new Absolute Pepper, packed full with those natural flavors of black cracked pepper and chili peppers. One of the best, if not the best, pepper vodka on the market. So I know what you say in the comments, Absolute Pepper is not just for a Bloody Mary. Please, you see what we did today? Experiment. Even if you didn't like the look of that pepper vodka rita, try it with mango, try it with vanilla, try it with whatever you want. You saw me make four brand new drinks with Absolute Pepper. I've shown you mine, please show me yours. We need your content, put all your images on social and hashtag at Absolute Drinks. Hashtag at Absolute Drinks? Just hashtag Absolute Drinks. That's it. Nothing doesn't have to be that complicated, really, does it? Hey. Thanks.